important that we listen to them. All right. Can you hear me now? Yeah, they are coming in. All right. All right. The floor is yours um, and Bia yes. France are listening. Please take it away. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Good evening, great IPOB family members around the world, Bia France friends of Biafra and lovers of freedom, including our enemies. I welcome you all this evening to our live broadcast today, the 22nd of December, 2021, on a Wednesday, be anchored by Mazi Chiku. I'm here this evening with my finance team. I'm not alone today. I'm here first of all let me introduce myself my name is Nen Nayanya I am the head of finance of IPOB worldwide and also a member of the directorate of state today I am here with my finance department colleagues one is Mazi Yagazie Ofoka Nelson as we all know him he is our secretary in the finance department and he also has other countries where he oversees here with me again is our sister Ifoma Chumuba who is our PRO in the finance department and also has countries where she oversees I will leave them to come in and address their friends before I come back again please the floor is yours dear friends are listening they want to hear your voice this evening what to you yeah thank you sister Nenyanya, the head of uh, finance department IPOB worldwide she great work you have been doing good evening dear friends all over the world I greet you from the side of the world I am and where I am it is evening. My name is Nelson of Okayagazi. By the special grace of Trikukabiama, I serve the people of Biafra in the capacity of Secretary of Finance, IPOB Worldwide. As the head of finance mentioned, we partitioned the world for easy administration financially and by so doing i oversee asia and africa and some few countries in north america and the issue as well in financial matters only please only in finance matters Today, we come together as a department to strengthen our people. The situation we found ourselves today is one that any sensible human being will fight to turn egg to free self from. The life we have cannot be described as life because we are living a life of bondage. We are slaves in our own supposed fatherland. And rather than live like a slave, one better die. For nothing can be compared with freedom. Today we find ourselves in the issue being controlled and ordered around by the ginger weed. Today we find ourselves at the mercy of full and evil soldiers. Today we find ourselves economically emasculated. Today we see our dreams and that of our children dying 
is still built. Today we see our own life cut short by a people that are supposedly our protectors, the security arm killers at will. For this reason, God has anointed a man to lead us out of this slavery. That man is Mazin and Dekano. He has sacrificed everything, sacrificed everyone. His father, his mother, his cousin, and now even his own freedom. Whatever he's going through today in the hands of Jesus, he's going through for our sake. He's going through for the sake of the unborn. He's going through for your sake. He's going through for my sake. Freedom is not cheap. Freedom is not free after all. If freedom were to be cheap and free, God wouldn't have sent his only begotten son. Yeshua called Jesus Christ to come and die for mankind. Count yourself blessed if you are part of the people fighting for their for freedom. This evening, I just want to greet everybody and to strengthen us in the fight for our freedom. Whatever you have been doing for our freedom, I just want to use this opportunity to appreciate you for that. Your contributions, finance contributions, money that you would have used for something else. But he said no. He wants us to be free as human beings. And you sacrifice it, you contribute it. We all know what it means for an Igbo man or a black man to let go of his hand and money. But for our sake, you make that sacrifice. The coming generation will forever be grateful to you. And because I'm part of the people you're fighting to save, I am forever grateful to you. The Finance Committee today appreciates you and your efforts, your contribution so far. And I want to say, do not stop until Biafra comes. Do not stop until Biafra comes. Whatever you've been doing this period, you actually have to double your efforts. Our leader is there. He's suffering. He's going through trauma for our sake. We are walking free on the streets. Our own part is to make financial contribution. Therefore, we should not fail. Of course, we'll be making this sacrifice. This period, we'll have to double that effort to ensure that he is released from the dungeon of Nigerian BSS. By the way, he was illegally abducted in Kenya and brought back to Nigeria. Nigeria is a criminal entity. And that is more reason we have to fight to exit this contraption called Nigeria. So we must put in all our efforts, we must double our efforts. And because we are finance, when we talk of doubling our efforts here, we talk finance. 
the struggle won't be around without money. There's no, there's no struggle or organization anywhere in the world that is being run without money. That is the importance, the vitality of the finance department. And that is why we are appealing to you this night not to them, rather to double your efforts. No one will be standing by. No. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Mazia Gazier. Now we go over to our sister, Ifoma Jindam. Ifoma, the floor is yours. Dear friends, we are ready to hear from you. Go ahead, please. Yeah. Thank you. Um, good evening, Biafrans, lovers of freedom, friends of Biafra, enemies of Biafra, and our our uh, brother Ikechuku. Thank you very much. I greet you all. Yes. So uh, it is uh, me, Ifoma Linda Chemoba. I'm greeting you from Sweden. Here. Yeah. By God's grace, I am the PRO of IPOB department worldwide. I am managing the financial activities of IPOB in the following countries. Uh, starting from the Middle East. By Middle East, I mean the United Arab Emirates, Kuwait, Turkey, Israel, Qatar, Brian, and Lebanon. Also, I manage the financial activities of Scandinavia and, uh, if you like, you call it Nordic countries. By this, I mean Sweden, Denmark, Norway, and Finland. And finally, I also um, manage the financial activities of France in North America, that is, the Brazil and Ecuador. I would like to start by saying that restoration of Biafra is a tax that must be achieved. At the mention of the name Biafra, every ginger weed can run up and down for safety. And that is how they will continue to run until our Biafra is restored. You see. Uh, it is very important to remind our people all over the world that without finance, all our activities, wherever we are, will be in vain. But Tupo Kikabiyama will not let it be like that. We have to continue to pay all our dues. All our dues that we are expected to be paying on a monthly basis. At the same time, evangelism must continue. You keep preaching the gospel until Biafra is restored. Just the way you see all the pastors in different parts of the world, the way they preach the gospel, it will continue to preach our gospel of Biafra restoration. Because Biafra according to our leader, is our religion. This Xmas season, uh, a festive period, this Christmas that is coming, we have to be very, very careful wherever we are. We must be security conscious, especially those who are in the zoo and in Biafra land, especially those who are traveling from different countries of the world back home. Be security conscious, be intelligent, at the same time, be smart. And this festive period, try to help each other. Give arms to, I mean, give helping hand to those who need food. Visit the charities if possible. Charity, uh, homeless place and the motherless you know do the best that you can to see that you are 
you know, pass, uh, passing a positive, positive impact to the people of the Biafra around you. I would also like to play my flute. But that will be towards the ending of this program. I would like to end it here until I come back again. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you very much for your speech, for both of you. Now, just to add to what my colleagues have said, I want to commend all those that are playing a very crucial role in this, our restoration of Biafra. Those that are paying their monthly donations every month and the compulsory levy, which is paid once. Our monthly donation is very, very important. It's compulsory. And it must be paid every month. From our compulsory levies and the monthly donations, that's what we use to pay for our legal fees, when you see our people that are being detained, it is from the monthly dues that you pay. That's where we use the money to pay them out. From this monthly dues, we use it again for the legal case of our leader. From the monthly dues you pay, we use it to help our people back home in Biafra land to help pay for school fees for some of them that their parents have been killed. Some we pay for their house rent, feeding, and other things. So that's why it's necessary that we take our monthly donation very, very serious. Everything started from this monthly donation. I encourage all of you to continue to do your best. If you are a member of IPOB, monthly donations should be your first priority. Before you put away money for your rent or for feeding, do the same and put away money for your monthly donation because what you are doing is humanity work, humanitarian, to free people so that people will have a better life. That's why we are in this. Not just for us, not just for our family, but for other people. That's why it's very important. We take it serious. Try every day to put away, let's say it is 30 euro you have to pay. Every day you put away one euro. Another day you put away one euro. By the end of the month, you've gotten your 30 euros. Or if you are paying more, you put away something by the side. Before you know it, you will pay your monthly donations. Because we pay it monthly. It's because of that. That's why we are able to achieve what we have achieved so far and we continue to do. And our monthly donation goes to Germany. Why those of us in Africa continent, you know where you pay in your monthly donations. Your levies. I don't need to mention it. You know where to pay it. Just to remind us again, for those of us in Biafra land, we do not pay monthly donations nor levies, please. Only you stopped it long time ago. The new national account in the USA, which is also our account for ESN, has not changed. It remains Biafra Freedom LLC with the Chase Bank. That's where you pay in your ESN. With the exception of those in Africa, they know where to pay theirs. But the rest, you pay it in 
the account in the USA. If you pay elsewhere and you are in diaspora with the exception of Africa and you refuse to pay there, then you are on your own. Then it means you are against us. It's either you are with us or you are against us. You cannot claim to be with our leader and then you do something different. Here you have to queue. To queue behind our leader. That's the way it goes. And also want to remind some countries that have decided not to pay their monthly donations. Like I said, my last announcement on the 8th of December, any country that refuse to send their monthly donations and they keep it, including the zones, I will call out the names of the zonal coordinator and the national coordinator and the state coordinator in the case of America on air. That's what I'm going to do. We are here to restore Biafra. What we are doing, we have to be strong. We must be mentally fit to queue along with us. We must be determined to follow us. That's the way it is. There is no in-between in what we are doing. Our leader is with the DSS. That's not where he's supposed to be. This is Christmas. Many of us, we travel out and we'll be with our families. But he's not with his family. He's not supposed to be there. Therefore, we must work hard to make sure that our leader is released unconditionally. There is no two ways about it. They know we are ready for this. And we never give up in IPOB. So this, we are not going to give up as well. And we need to do this by making our contributions. Very, very important. When people pay, you issue them with receipt. Not any type of receipt. We have an IPOB receipt. Some people are going about printing their own receipt because they want a fanciful receipt. No. There is an IPOB receipt. And that's what we follow. Like I said, you queue on the line behind our leader. The rules laid down by our leader is what we follow. That's why we have come this far. Nothing has changed. I know some people will still telling you, how long are you going to continue with this contribution? Tell them as long as it takes for you to restore Biafra. Because freedom is never cheap. Tell me one country that achieved their freedom without paying for it. Tell me, just one. No. All these sacrifices that people have made, those that have died, some of them are childless, some are motherless, some are fatherless, and you think we can leave them like that? We owe it to them to restore Biafra. We have no choice. You cannot choose what you will do. Because this is our priority. There is no going back. We must continue to march forward. That's what it is. Yes, people will complain. We know that. But do you have any other choice? Do you have a better choice? There is no better choice. Therefore, we have to continue to do what we are supposed to do. We have come this far because of our determination. We have come this far because we are focused. 
We have come this far because we are consistent and determined. So what reason do you have to go back now? There is no reason for that. We must march forward. Dust yourself up. People will talk. Oh, yes, they will talk. That is their own assignment. But your own should be the less you talk, the more you do the work. People should be allowed to do their work in the departments given to them. That's the way it is. Like I said, the national account in USA is where you pay in your ESN account. I, I'm sorry, your ESN funds. No other accounts. Ask your coordinators they will give you. Some people are giving excuses. Oh, I did not know. I don't know. I don't know the account. Everybody knows the new account unless you don't want to know. Ask questions. Let us try to do the right thing before God and man. And in truth and honesty, we should stop pulling down others. And we march on. Our leader must be released. I commend all our lawyers and all those that are making contributions. Whichever way you know you can help, do it. It's very important. But do it in truth and honesty. I stop now and go back to my colleagues. I want Nelson to give his closing speech. Please, unless you have something else to, to say. Thank you very much. Over to you, Mazinesin. Daryl. Yes, and are you still there? On mute. All right, Nelson. Am I the I can, Am I? Am I? Yes, coming out? You are coming out, but Nelson, I don't know if he's. I think he's muted. Mazi Nelson is muted. Okay, Nelson. Nelson, please unmute yourself. But you, yes, he's on. Hello, sorry, yes. my network dropped. You know. All right, go ahead, please, Mazi. Okay. Please, your closing remarks. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, once again, I greet everyone contributing to our freedom. You have heard what the uh, head of uh, finance said to us all. We have to heed the call for freedom. And as I said earlier, freedom doesn't come cheap. Otherwise, God wouldn't have allowed his son to die for mankind. All hands must be on deck, as my mother used to say. You do yours, I do mine. And our freedom is there. Freedom is not given, freedom is taken. It means if we do not do our part, our oppressors will never for one day and call us, take your freedom on a silver platter. It means we have to do our part. To all that have been doing their part, once again, my humble salute. And again, continue. Do not stop until we are free. Ikechuku Ndewo. Thank you very much. And Biaf and Biaf friends all over the world. Ndewo. Ndewo, Ndewo, man. Thank you. Now, I will bring in our sister. But before that, I want, to, I want to remind every one of us to remember our leader in our prayers. 
those that are being detained and all those that are walking in truth and honesty. Before my over to you, give us your closing speech and then you close it with the Oja. Mazike Chuku, thank you very much for giving us this opportunity. It is my pleasure. I am humbled. Thank you very much. Okay, over to you, um, Informa. Please unmute yourself. Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, once again, I am Informa Linda Chemoba, and I'm speaking to you from Sweden. Uh, I will also want to advise our people to be security conscious, especially in Biafra this festive period. Don't drink and drive. Just be security conscious. Also, I would like to uh, wish our director a Merry Christmas in advance. And, uh, as well as wishing all, every of us of freedom all over the world Merry Christmas in advance. We love you, director. And I'm wishing you this Merry Christmas with this uh, my little music. My flute. And it goes like this. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank, <laughs> Thank you. you. I'm loving it. Thank you. Thank you, my ZK Thank you very much. Now we can Thank you very much. There we Yeah. Okay. All right. Thank you very much. And that was our finance head and her finance team serving Beer France. And of course, we've hands. And of course, we've hands.